you, Madam Chair. In 2017, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration set a record for the most generic drug approvals in a single year, with 763. Improving access is a priority for the United States of America. True barriers to access should be addressed. We believe once the Secretariat develops global shortage notification system, it will be one in invaluable tool to address this very serious public health issue. Other areas to look at are regulatory capacity building, collecting data on medicine availability, and quality and safety of medicines, as well as strengthening WHO's pre-qualification pre program. We are disappointed at other aspects of the report that propose work lacking member states' consensus going beyond WHO's mandate, specifically re relating to intellectual property, international trade, and suggesting that WHO engage in political advocacy on issues outside of its normative core functions. Each time WHO governing bodies have discussed this item, the importance of intellectual property as an incentive for innovation was affirmed. It is alarming that this balancing language has disappeared. It is essential for WHO's credibility on this issue to speak to all sides and reflect continued importance of innovation and intellectual We reemphasize that the high-level panel report is not an appropriate starting point for this discussion. It was neither requested by member states nor did it receive consensus support because its limited mandate failed to look at the problem holistically, it lacked balance, representation on the panel, and it ignored negative consequences that many of the recommendations would certainly have on the global innovation system. Madam Chair, we are prepared to support the draft decision point with the understanding that it requires <coughs> the Secretary the, general, uh, the Director General to hold full consultations with member states to create a work plan that directs WHO's priorities on this issue over the period of 2019 through 23. Such a plan should focus on areas of convergence, consensus, and common understanding among all member states. Thank you, Madam Chair.